It's been a tough road and it's been a long road. I've learned a lot through my injuries. Quote, I've used is difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations. I'm doing this for a reason and the reason is because I want to win an Olympic gold medal. I obviously care a lot about my training and I care a lot about my results and I want to be the best. I really love the Super League format. I don't think I change my training too much going into it. A few weeks before I'll do some shorter, sharper efforts just to get ready for that kind of style of racing. And if it's a hard session, I usually get the session a day in advance. I know that I have certain targets that I need to focus on um, during that session. Um, and whether it's hitting VO2 for however long of the set or threshold. I've really, really focused on my swimming because I know that's my weakness. So I knew that I really had to focus on that, especially going into the Olympics. And that's where you, it, it can make the race or break the race, really. I don't feel extra pressure, to be honest, um, now that I've become world champion and I'm a bit more established in the sport. I, I don't think about what everyone else thinks because again, as long as I'm happy, then that's all that really matters. I'm gonna have ups and downs and I have to kind of take that in my stride and work with that and work on my weaknesses all the time and I'm always wanting to be better. This is Jess, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I suppose you spend a lot of early mornings together. Uh, yeah, we do. We... Pretty much Monday to Friday. We have really <laughs> chat for about 10 minutes. Been... We separate and learn. We literally go to opposite sides of the pool. She's in the fast side and I'm in the slow side. Yeah. I'm feeling confident. <laughs> That's swim session done, 6K. Here is the camera back. Thank you. And now we're going to go running. to run straight after swim um, but it's definitely good to practice running on tired legs. Um, if I was doing a run session then I would do like 20-25 minutes of jogging and then a few strides just to sort of wake my legs up. <laughs> kind of my journey and how I've got to the top is, I, I, I hate to say it but it probably is my injuries. It's been a tough road and it's been a long road and it's been a lot of time getting spat out the back of bike groups and having rubbish races and working my way up from not running and then having to start running again. And I guess like a quote I kind of use is uh, difficult roads lead to beautiful destinations because I think I've been on quite a difficult road in my, in my career um, and it has got me to a place that I'm pretty proud of. I think when I'm in some really hard training sessions and it's really, really hurting me and I really don't want to be there, I just kind of picture myself at the very end of the race coming into a sprint finish with other athletes and I really, really want to win and I'm just happy in what I do. I really, really enjoy triathlon. I think I understand my body a lot better now. Um, I know what I can and can't handle and I know when I need to step back and I know when I can push on. I've kind of learnt over the years that I need to be strong and robust. The sessions are very similar with the pacing, uh, but the pace is very on the easy runs and it's just how I feel on the day. Um, I don't stick to, I don't ever run to pace on my easy runs or heart rate or whatever, I just do it on how I actually feel. Okay, that's the run done, so now we are going to head on the bike. training day, I have to think about what I'm going to get out of it after I've finished it all. I know that the feeling afterwards is amazing and you feel so much better for doing it. I've been in Leeds now for eight years, so the training programme has kind of always been the same. We've never really changed it that much. 
um, and it's just what works. Three easy rides and two bike sessions in a week. They're between 90 minutes and four hours. They vary quite a bit. Thursday sessions are usually with a bigger group, um, but then the Sunday sessions are either just me or my partner, or sometimes other girls might come along. Quite enjoy my Sunday sessions when I do hills, because the thing is with hill sessions as well is I basically just have to try and get up the hill. Um, so that's, that's quite nice to do. Uh, but I do like a long, easy ride as well on a Wednesday. I, I do enjoy those kind of rides. I've just signed with, um, with Specialized for two years, which is quite exciting. And this is a cross bike. I know that a lot of European athletes usually train on the race bikes because they can, because they don't have roads that are as bad as ours. This is the um, S-Works Crux, um, and it's all SRAM electric gears, which is quite fancy. We're getting used to that. It's single chain ring, but it's a massive block on the back. Uh, and I've got some chunky tyres on that are for sort of all conditions. Um, so yeah, I've really been enjoying riding actually. When you're in that place where it's really hurting and you're in like the back end of a session and you know you've not got left to go but everything in your body is just throbbing and you really don't want to do it anymore. I focus on my breathing because I can control my breathing. I can't necessarily control the feeling in my legs and the burning in my heart. I want to know that I've put absolutely everything into my training to be able to get to that finish line and be as happy as I can possibly be, knowing that I've given it completely all of me. When I get home, I'm so happy that I've done it and I just feel so much better. And I know that that's one step closer to getting towards my dream.